Icons are an incredibly useful design tool to enhance user experience and readability. In Duke, we can only see icons in the nodes menu by default. However, there are other areas where we can add icons to, to increase usability and Nuke script readability. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you five practical examples. Using HTML's image tag, we can add an icon to a node's label. To use a default icon that comes with Nuke, you can simply type the node's name followed by a PNG file extension. So let's add the blur icon to this blur node. So we have our image HTML tag here. We'll type space SRC, which stands for source, equals open quotation mark, blur with a capital B dot PNG, close quotation mark. And you'll see we've got our little blur icon here. Now Nuke's UI likes to glitch out sometimes. So if your node has a change in typeface or, or font size, you can simply just uh, change it and change it back and that will fix the bug. Now, when we scale our node graph, you'll see that the icon size remains consistent. What happens if we want it to stick to the size of the node? We can write a single line of Python to do this in the script editor. So let's jump over to the script editor. I'm going to delete our label and I'm going to paste a little Python snippet here. So what this says is take the selected node, nuke.selected node. So that's our blur node here. Look at the icon knob, which is a hidden knob. We can't see it anywhere here, but it exists. And we're going to set the value to blur.png. So I'm going to hit control enter on my keyboard to run this. And you'll notice our blur icon is on the top left of the node. And whenever I scale, it sticks there. Please see the video's description for a tutorial on where Nuke's default icons are saved so you can see the available icons you can use and what they are named. Perhaps you're building a template. You can add an icon to a backdrop nodes label to add clarity for your team. You can adjust the size of an icon by tweaking the width or the height parameter. So let's show a practical example. I'm going to create a backdrop node. And same as before, I'm going to open an image tag and set the source to blur.png and we'll close the tag. So we have a small icon down here now, and let's try and make it bigger. So we'll use our width equals 100. And there we have it. We've got a bigger icon. As per adding icons to any nodes label, the size is going to remain consistent no matter the zoom level of the node graph. Nuke's default icons have a small resolution of 24 by 24 pixels, and the SVGs included in newer versions of Nuke are not always representative of how the icons look within Nuke. However, we can always make our own icons with a greater resolution to fit our needs. To make this easier, I have created an icon design toolkit for Nuke that fits within Nuke's built-in theme. You're able to download this using the link on screen or in the video's description. As an example, I built this key icon, which I'll use with my standard keying template. It fits Nuke's theme, has enough resolution to appear crisp and sharp in the node graph at a larger size on the 4K monitor, and is versatile enough to use anywhere I need in Nuke. You may also notice the icons in my nodes toolbar here are much crisper and a higher resolution than on a 4K monitor in Nuke by default. I've created these as part of the Nuke icon toolkit, which you're able to download and use on your own. Any custom icon that you create must be placed within a directory that Nuke recognizes when it loads in. These two locations are in Nuke's install directory, which you're likely not going to have access to in a studio environment or in your Nuke directory. I like to put all my icons in an icon subdirectory, which means I have to tell Nuke to load it. To do this, I can open up my init.py and I'll type nuke.pluginAddPath and then I'll add the path here. So dot always references your dot nuke directory, and then I'm adding my icon subdirectory, and then every other subdirectory within the icons directory to make sure nuke is definitely loading up every directory I need it to look in. Secondly, I'm re-adding all of the default nuke menus so I can add the icons. Again, if you'd like to do this for yourself, you can download the nuke icon toolkit with the link provided in the description.
The third example I'd like to show you is we can add icons as floating images in a Nuke script. We can achieve this by putting our HTML image tag in a sticky notes label and coloring the sticky note the same as the node graph. I've added a menu item in Nuke's edit menu via Python to automate this process for future use. And you can see the video's description if you'd like to download this code. But this is exactly the code that I'm using to create that menu. So with control enter, I'm gonna run this in our script editor. And then in our edit menu, I have a display image and node graph option. So if I click this, I can choose any icon I would like and it comes in. And now you'll see the border of the sticky note, but if we zoom out, the icon kind of stays put and we can click and drag it around as we need. We can spice up our gizmos by adding icons to their UI. Once again, we'll use the same HTML to add my logo to the top of one of my gizmos. So I have my own optical glow gizmo in here. Now let's create a text knob and we can do that by dragging the text knob on here above the other knobs and I'm going to open the properties. It's good practice to add a descriptive name to the knob. So I'm going to call it logo image and we can delete the label text as we don't want any text to be shown. Now in this text field, we can add our image tag with bmlogo.png. This is an image that I've already saved into my icons subdirectory. Now, when we click off and the knob gets updated, you might see the icon is instead displaying an image not found error. I'm recording this in Nuke 13.1 and there appears to be a bug where images don't show unless they're on a button. However, you can get the icon to display as expected if you hard code the entire file path. So let's open up the properties again, and I'll paste some code here. Now this is directing to my user directory, my .nuke directory, the icon subdirectory, and it's looking at the bmicon.png logo. Now when we click off, the image updates. Of course, this is way too big. So we can go in here and we can do the same thing as last time and type width equals 100 to keep it a more manageable size. Be aware that when you share this gizmo with somebody else, the image will not show unless you've saved the image to a directory on your studio's network that everybody has access to. To wrap up this example, we could even turn this image into a link to a website using HTML's anchor element. So once again, let's jump into this knobs properties and we can open an anchor tag. Now in here, we can type href equals and open quotation mark. And let's go to my website, HTTPS www.benmcewen.com and close quotation. And with the anchor tag, we also have to close it. So we can do that like so. Lastly, if you're adding new menu items to Nuke and you want to add an icon to them, the process is a little bit different. Within the Nuke Python module, both the add menu and add command functions have an icon argument. For example, the following code snippet that you can see here adds a custom menu to hold all of my tools, as well as adding my optical glow gizmo to that menu. So let's run this and see what happens. The menu's been added and the optical glow gizmo has been added to it. So to break down how this works, we're looking at the new nodes menu, which is this menu here. Then we're adding a new menu to it and we're giving it a name of Ben MC tools. And if we hover over the menu we just created here, you'll see that's what it's called. And lastly, we're adding the icon argument. Next, the add command is very similar. We're adding a menu item called BM optical glow. And that's the name you can read here. Then we have our function to create the gizmo and this gizmo is saved within my new directory. And again, we've got our icon argument. As you can see, it's pretty easy to add icons anywhere in Nuke to improve your and your team's user experience.